Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. I am back at Pop Shelf, Dollar General's new store. You know what that means. Let's go shopping. Today we are back in Pop Shelf, Dollar General's newest store, and I'm going to share with you all of the organization, kitchen, crafts, and everything else we didn't cover in part one. This is part two, so let's jump into the organization. In addition to their shelving, they have tons of tools for organization, lots of different bins to choose from in all areas. This was one section that they had all sorts of bins designated for organization, some acrylic options that were clear and came in lots of different shapes and sizes. I would say that these price points are way below that what you would find at places like Target and these were very good quality, definitely heavier plastic, not flimsy or anything like you would find at the Dollar Tree. Now in their kitchen section, they also had some more options for you for different kitchen needs that you may have in your cupboards and on your shelves. So be sure to look around the whole store when you are in and check out different sections. I did find organizational tools in all the different areas from the kitchen section to over near where they had lots of seasonal items they had more organization over towards that side of the store and I'm telling you their prices rival that of any other place you can get a good deal now I want to show you guys real quickly what they have for the bath and we're going to move on to the kitchen and the crafts there's tons of things here in the store so they have all kinds of color options for your bath needs from soap dispensers to toilet brushes shower curtains towels you name it they have it here I did really like all of their bamboo items I think that these are priced really well that little tray is only four dollars and everything fits on it perfectly. They also have some larger trays for $10 in mirror finish. I was so smitten with their dishes, which I am going to cover in the kitchen portion of this video, but I had to mention all the options for the bath because they've got everything from a toothbrush holder all the way down to towels. So now on to some of their kitchen essentials, and then we'll get into the back section. They did have different areas set up for kitchen needs. So if you have a pop shelf, if you're in look all over the store I found an entirely different section in the back of the store that was all related to kitchen these are amazing deals they have all kinds of cutlery different price points from one to two dollars and this is what I was most surprised by they have these hearth and hand dupes for their pie servers for three dollars they have all sorts of black and copper options really high end looking at a really affordable price now this is the section i was telling you about it's towards the back of this store and they had a lot of larger kitchen items and do you see what i see that is a ray dunn serving bowl for eight dollars so this is the area where they have a lot of essentials for the kitchen but i was finding lots of things by ray dunn from serving dishes to bowls and cups all kinds of things so i'm guessing this is the section where they have things that they maybe purchase from other retailers at discounted prices very similar to ross as you can see they had some disney items and some heavy ceramic pieces along the bottom now these dishes definitely rival those that you can find at Target in, in the regular kitchen section and that was a tray I was holding it was three dollars I think that that is similar if not a little bit less than what they have theirs for at Target also a large rectangular tray for three dollars this is another one of their little knockoffs where you get four dessert plates for five dollars in ceramic now i'm a big fan of these type of large bowls i like to make big salads in them and i know that target has them for three dollars as well i want to show you guys sort of all of the kitchen tools again there was a few sections of these so we're going to cover them both this is by far the most colorful section i will note those cutting boards are the same brand that you can find at places like Hobby Lobby and I believe 
believe those were five dollars they also have some copper pieces for five dollars which is a great buy and up here i was finding some amazing cast iron pieces these would be great for fajitas for five dollars they had a matte black colander that i was very tempted by they even sell sets of labels for organizing your pantry and reusable bags for your lunches tons of little necessities for the kitchen and then i turned the corner and i saw this colander for five dollars it's an expandable colander i think that's a great buy they also have an entire back wall section full of different canisters jars cutting boards and i noticed that they did not have all their pricing on the shelves quite yet it is a brand new store so i'm sure that's coming i do appreciate that most of their pieces did have the prices clearly labeled and you'll notice that the font is even the same as the dollar general they did have these large platters for five dollars in ceramic i don't think you can beat that price anywhere they also had these for three dollars that would be beautiful trays on a vanity or maybe just for some decorative pieces a candle and down below they had some mini dutch ovens some decorative serving platters and some cutting boards that were only eight dollars and then they had these beautiful jars and carafes some larger canisters things that you would find maybe if you were lucky in dollar general you can definitely find here including dupes for things that i've seen at hobby lobby like those black canisters now those did not have prices on them but this utensil caddy did it was all of 12 dollars it is gorgeous definitely something you would find at hobby lobby or a similar retailer and much more affordable here they had a few decorative trays in their kitchen section but this is what i wanted to show you so the first section was super colorful this is much more color coded and there are as well some name brands like wilton's baking trays these did not have prices on them quite yet but everything hung up above which was very well organized and pleasing to the eye was only a dollar which beats even dollar tree prices it definitely beats target dollar spot prices and many of these items were name brands like these by glade which i don't know that i've seen in other stores but i am definitely familiar with the anchor hawking glass and they have all kinds of bowls and measuring cups as well as glassware and servingware now back along this wall they had even more and before we head on to the craft section i wanted to mention they have a whole section full of different travel drinkware and tumblers they even had sets of metal straws for three dollars really great prices now i also want to mention that they did have some kitchen towels pot holders and really affordable prices they even had sets of placemats and these are three dollars but you get two of these placemats for three dollars i really like this one super neutral they also had some woven options for three dollars and of course mugs i know everybody loves a good mug they had some down here that i really wanted to mention because they were by different brands i think these are probably buyouts by higher end retailers and you get them here for five dollars now let's move on to the arts and crafts section and again it was broken up in a few different areas so this is a drawing and painting section that they had where they had paints and canvases different papers and markers and supplies for anything that you were interested in drawing or painting they also have this little section they were just setting up that really rivals that of hobby lobby they had lots of stickers i know i bought that exact pack from hobby lobby and they did have these little packs of decorative paper they were only three dollars i believe a piece down here in a few different color options and they have a lot of wood blanks and letters to work with if you're a crafter you're definitely going to want to head in they have lots of these letters and numbers for just a dollar they did have whole packs for five dollars and then their larger letters which were quite a good size made out of wood 
They weren't initially tagged and then I noticed down below they were $4 a piece. I know that Walmart sells these letters. I have purchased them in the past for different crafts. Here they're just a dollar. I can't remember how much they were at Walmart. Now they do have a small sewing section with different needles and things. It sort of blends into their paint section. So not a ton, but definitely enough to get you started or if you're on the road and you have a project that you need something for, they do have those things. They also have lots of t-shirts. So think of the t-shirt section at places like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Their t-shirts are $5 a piece. They also have things like scrunchies and bucket hats and anything you would need to tie dye them or do any kind of iron on sayings. They also have a lot of yarn for those who crochet and knit. There was a lot of really nice looking pieces of yarn or skeins, I guess, different price points on those. This is a closer look at that section where they kind of blended the arts and crafts with the sewing tools and then it sort of went into paint and more wood pieces. So these are less of the letters and more of the wood blanks that you might want to use for any kind of DIYs that you're doing. The smaller ones were a dollar. They had some medium size for three and then some larger pieces for right around four dollars. So very similar to the craft section at Dollar General except so much more. I was so surprised by the amount of paint options they had. They had Mod Podge and Stain. They had chalk paint for $5. Now I will say that the smaller things of paint you can get for a little bit less, a few less pennies at places like Walmart. They also had a whole section of craft items in the back from ribbon to pom-poms, pipe cleaners, more stickers and iron-ons, some foam pieces. They had some googly eyes, some beads, some bells, pretty much anything you can imagine that a craft section would have. They also have all of the knock-off Cricut items from the tools to vinyl for $5, even some holographic and glittery versions. Now they have this section where they have a lot of jewelry and gifty items out. I thought that was a great little gift for $3. They also have sunglasses from a dollar up to $5. Down here they have some wallet options. Those were $5. And they had quite a few sunglass styles that I know quite a few teenagers would be interested in for $5. Or if you're like me and you just lose them all the time. Over here in their jewelry section they did have organizers. I know I've seen this exact organizer in the Target dollar spot with a mirror for $5. They have some jewelry pieces. Some earrings seemed to be the main thing. They did have a few necklaces to choose from but lots of jewelry organization which was not priced quite yet but I can't imagine anything here being over ten dollars. Now they do have a whole wellness fitness spa like self-care section with all things from bath salts to massage items and these rollers that I know you can get at places like Dollar Tree. They had tons of things you could put together as maybe a gift basket for someone over here and it is the new year so everyone's looking at fitness but let's move on to the other side of the store now I am gonna skip the food and snack section just think of the snack zone at the Dollar Tree or what you can find in that section at the Dollar General and that's exactly what you'll find here now they also have a whole area where you can buy journals and all kinds of different colored pens I know I could get lost in there forever this is a different section but it's more craft items for kids lots of Crayola options. They do have a candy wall where everything is a dollar and most of their wrapping items are only a dollar so they definitely blow Dollar Tree out of the water and I know that most of the things you can find at Dollar General for wrapping are also a dollar and they're really cute. They're really nice and current. A little bit uh, more current and higher end than you'll find at places like Dollar Tree or even Walmart where you can find them for 98 cents. I love wrapping and so this was an area I was really smitten by but I do want to show you guys what they have in the kid section. So this would be a great stop for the kids if they have a little bit of an allowance that they could spend 
where they could find something for not a lot of money. They had a whole section full of stuffies. And then they had this center section where there was Disney dolls. I couldn't believe it. They have all the name brand games you can imagine and superheroes. They even have all of these little mini grab bags and they had them sorted on one side for girls, on the other side for boys. They have the LOL dolls, lots of Play-Doh and slime, plenty more superheroes and Star Wars lightsabers, some sports themed things, more grab bags, and even things that are Barbie and Disney. Now I want to show you guys what's on this side of the store, which is more household needs. Imagine the back of Target where you can find things for your pet. They have that. They have a whole beauty section. They have all of the household cleaners you could imagine, even a little more organization back here. So I just am going to walk you through quickly things that I would be interested in picking up like laundry detergent, cleaning supplies. Now they have a ton of name brands, but they also have options that you would find at Dollar Tree and they're only a dollar here. They are not a dollar 25, so save that money. Now on the other side, it was resembling Target. All the Myers brands here, they were $5. I don't buy them, so I'm not sure what they cost at Target. They have tons of tools for cleaning on this wall. These definitely resemble those that I found in Target Dollar Spot recently. I shared that in a short reel for you guys here on YouTube and over on Instagram. I love these things. I'm always buying them for cleaning. They also have the microfiber cloths, any kind of gloves or things you would need over here for cleaning. And then turn the corner and you will find the beauty section. This is very reminiscent of something you would find in a drugstore, a CVS, or even a Target section. They have name brands, they have hair dye, they have hair tools. And after being to Pop Shelf today, it's left me wondering, will I ever go to Target again? What do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for coming with me and I'll see you back very soon.